Hi, Tony here, welcome to the channel, where today I'm looking at a couple of small luggage options from SW Motec. I've used quite a few SW Motec parts in the past and I've always been impressed by the quality and the design of the pieces. I have previously fitted and used an Evo tank bag. I fitted that on my Tiger 800. It was a great bag, but the fitting of it, to be honest, was a little bit of a faff. You had to take the mount out, mark up where the mount needed to go and then drill the bottom of the bag and bolt it into place. So once it was there, it was good. And obviously if you want to take that off and put that onto another bike, if the mount didn't quite line up where you needed it to be, you'd have to move that mount and redrill holes and Obviously that really isn't the best thing to do. That's what made me look at the new Pro range. And this is the Pro Day Pack, a five litre bag as it stands, but it can be unzipped at the bottom and extended to eight litres. And they've changed the mounting system on this, which I think is really good. So you still put a tank ring on the uh, bike itself. Now I'm not going to insult your intelligence and show you how to fit that because it is literally unscrew four bolts from the ring on your tank, put this ring in its place and then screw it down with the four bolts provided in the kit. That's it. The difference with this Pro Tank ring compared to the Evo Tank ring is that it is magnetic, which means locating it onto this base is much easier. Now I will say that it's not just the magnet that holds it in place. The magnet helps it to snap on, but uh, you'll notice there's four little silver bars in here which are sprung. They clip over the edge of the ring itself and that's what physically holds the bag on. So once it snaps on, you can't pull it off. It, it will not come off. To get it off, you have to pull this red release tab. That spring releases these bars and it will just lift off. So it's a really good solution and it works really well. The other thing that's improved with this is the mount is actually just bolted onto four pins on the bottom and it can slide. So once you've loosened off these four bolts, you can slide this backwards and forwards to get the bag in the right position. And that's another good thing for this is that you can leave that loose, put the bag on, move it backwards and forwards until it's in exactly the right position, pull the cable to release it, tighten those four bolts up and it's set. And that also means that if you want to move this from uh, one bike to another, as long as you've got a second tank ring, you can do that. And if you have to reposition it, you've got no drilling, so you can just move this in the right position and away you go. The bag itself is made of 1680D ballistic material, which is the same as they've used for all their previous bags. It's nice and tough, hard wearing. It has got some element of weather resistance as well. I've used these in the rain as they are, and they've been really good. It's only when the rain gets really heavy or if it's persistent and you're out in the rain for a few hours, you start to get water ingress in through the zips. So SW Motec provide a 100% waterproof cover. If you look at a couple of other features of the bag, uh, the top of the bag has got this sort of EVA lid, semi-rigid lid, which is good. That helps to keep the weather off as well, uh, but it gives you a tough element. And you've got this Molle strap on the top here. So if you want to add additional parts, you can get smartphone holders, tablet holders, uh, extra storage bags. When you open it up, in the top, you've got a, a zipped mesh compartment. So if you've got lots of small items, uh, or stuff that you need to access and you don't want them rattling around in the bag. Inside the bag, it's just one big open space, but you have got elastic straps down the side if you want to strap small pieces to the edge. There are holes at the front and the back, whichever way around you look at those, for cable access. So if you want to put uh, something in here and charge it, or if you've got a power pack sat here and you want to charge something externally, you've got holes to enable you to do that. And you've got reflective panels on the side as well. And overall, it's a really nicely constructed piece. It weighs just under a kilo as it is. And some of that weight obviously is the bulk of the base plate. Um, but the way that this fits on is, is really good, really quick, really easy and very secure. It has got this strange plastic molding on here with a slotting it. I don't know what that's for. I can't see anything on the website that explains what that is. So I'll ask the guys at SW Motec. It might just be a small piece of design, um, but with the slot in it, it looks like it should be doing something. In terms of price, this bag retails at 115 pounds in the UK. A really neat system, a decent size. 
You'll notice when it's sat on the Africa Twin, because of the shape of the tank, you've got this bit that sort of sticks out with nothing there. There are different shaped bags that are angled, which will probably fit the tank better. So things like the Africa Twin, uh, the Tiger 900 and the GS that have got those higher sort of hump tanks. But I went for this one because I want to be able to, when the Honda goes back, uh, use this on my KTM, which has got a slightly flatter tank. And going forward, if I want to fit it to different bikes, uh, there's more options to be able to do that with this than one that's very heavily shaped. What about the back end? Well, I chose the Road Pack. Uh, this is as standard as it is an 8 litre bag, but if you unzip the bottom, it will expand to 14 litres. So it's a usable size. Obviously, they do much bigger bags. It go all the way up to about 40 litres if you need that size. And the reason I like this one is because this one, I think, suits the Africa Twin particularly well now the standard crf 1100 doesn't have a rack on the back and there's not really very much to be able to fix anything to it's got quite a thin tail but this is where this bag comes into its own because it has this little pouch on the bottom here and that means i can hook that over the back end of the tail and then just strap it at the front to hold it down and it works really well if i want to fit this to a bike where this is not going to work then there are velcro straps built into the base which i can pull out and loop around the seat or a rack or whatever it might be and again get that fixing in terms of features well it's pretty much identical to the daypack tank bag you've got this eva top lid with the mole system the inside base is the same setup just one big open space but with the elastic on the sides to be able to take small items there's no holes for running any cables through for this because it's designed to sit in the towel you're unlikely to want to do that so you're not having any compromise of having holes in it for that fitting it on the bike is an absolute breeze if you've got the ability to use this pouch that's really good doesn't work so well on my ktm because the rack that i've got is wider than that so i'll use these straps in the cases it when it comes you've got these additional straps which are very easy to use you've got a loop on one end so you just loop it around the foot hanger for example pull it tight on itself and at the other end you've got this plastic hook and that just snaps onto the mounting eyelet on the bag itself. And then you've got a simple push button to release and tighten and loosen the straps until you need it where you need it. So a really simple solution, very easy to put onto a bike. The road pack is a little bit cheaper than the tank bag. This comes in at 106 pounds in the UK. And with that inside this bag when it arrives, you get four of these lashing straps. You obviously get the waterproof cover as well. And another nice touch from SW Motec is they put some clear film in the box as well. So as you can see on the side, particularly on this bike, the strap is touching the bodywork. Uh, over time, you're probably gonna get some rubs and marks on the paintwork. So you just cut a piece of this to size to cover what you need, stick the clear vinyl onto the bike, and you've got protection. So it's really nice that they, they've thought about that and they've put something like that in the box with the bag. So that's pretty much it really. I just wanted to give you a quick look at a couple of the items in the range. I will put a link in the description so you can go away and have a look at the rest of the range to see what suits your needs and what suits your bikes. There's also in there a discount code. So if you want to order from the SW Motec UK store, there's a code there that will give you a 10% discount on anything that you order. It's actually quite a useful amount of storage space with the tank bag and the tail bag fitted. You've got a minimum of 13 liters of space and a maximum of 22. So you can get quite a lot in that. And actually that might be enough if you're a light packer and you're just going away with a one night stopover. You've got room to put a change of underwear, maybe another t-shirt and a wash bag, as well as the bits and pieces you need for your journey. So I hope you found this useful. As I say, there's a link in the description for you to go away and have a look at the complete range. Uh, there's a discount code there as well. Hitting the like button is always very much appreciated, but also if you want to see future reviews coming up, and I've got a few more luggage and accessory videos coming through both for the Africa Twin, my KTM and other bikes as well. So if you want to be kept up to date with those when they come through, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be told when that new content hits the platform. I hope you found this useful. If you've got any questions, if there's anything I've missed, let me know in the comment section down below. And all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.